This episode is sponsored by Business Planner. Business Planner, what's that? It's a cool little neat thing from a friend of mine. Uh, she started this Business Planner project and she packed like a whole cool planner into a little small form. So what makes it different from another planner? I mean, besides the really cool look, um, it's just super small. It has a ton of features like tips for the week, uh, food suggestions if you cook yourself or if you have to pre prepare food. So you don't have to own a business to use this? No, 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 you can use it. You can, everyone can use it. You can plan the week ahead. You can put in uh, the schedules from your kids from school. You have like little tips in the planner that help you plan the week or the day. There's a pen holder as well. So you have a pen there all the time. That's that nice to have that handy. So it's not just floating right. around somewhere or you forget one. Right, I mean, right, exactly. And you don't have to borrow a pen and it looks cool. It just comes in one package. It's small and it fits in almost any purse or bag. So it's super handy to bring with you along. You can pick up one today at business-planner.at or business-planner.at and since it's for 2021, you want to do it soon. I'm going to go do that now. Yeah, do it. Everybody, we are back with a new episode of Translating Love. Episode? Episode. <laughs> episode of Translating Love with uh, my uh, beautiful co-host uh, Daniel uh, Steiner from say, America <laughs> and uh, with the amazing, talented Wolfgang Kinn oh. from Austria. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm not that talented, but you know. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. No, thank you. No, thank you. Please, please. So what's the topic to be? No, stop. Not so fast. Not so fast. <laughs> Please go now. That person just left. Thank God. <laughs> um, I'm still yes, here. I'm still here. I'm going to steal Wolfgang's normal thing and just start by saying thank you to all of our listeners, all of the people who are new listeners, all the people who are dedicated listeners who have been here since the beginning, and everyone who like shares it and 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 subscribes. That's a good. We really appreciate that's a you. good point. We. We basically um, live off you subscribing and sharing and rating if you're on Apple Podcast. And the more you do that, the more people we can reach and the more we can build our small community. And yep. um, I totally understand if you don't want to share it because, you know, sometimes you listen to a topic that might be a little like personal or something. But I bet there are people out there who would love to hear that, even if it's just your partner or like family member or a, a good close friend and some of the episodes are fun and stupid so <laughs> that's also something like you know like if you're driving with the car or if you know someone who is having a commute every day mm -hmm. then they might want to just join and see if they like it and we're also open for feedback and criticism and and topic suggestions and also guests if you're like a phd in some science even if you're not and you're just somebody who feels like you have something to contribute yeah we uh, love that to. has to do with relationships not just romantic relationships but just in general relationships mm -hmm. we love having guests on yeah. and yeah but only if you really agree fun. with our opinion if you don't agree with <laughs> our opinion then no we don't yeah. like it sure we don't like other people's opinions <laughs> uh yeah okay Let's get into the topic. Otherwise, we go into like another 15 minute uh, But I just want to say nothing. first, okay. how are you doing? Me? Yeah. I'm, I'm doing okay. Okay. I'm a little, it's a little stressful right now, but it's, it's okay. Okay. That's it's good. not so bad. That's good. How are you doing? Me or the other guy? You. Okay. Um, I'm fine. I'm a little stressed too and a little overwhelmed with everything right now and... I don't know. I'm I'm longing for some time out, like for a vacation. I'm so excited for Christmas when we close for Christmas yeah. <laughs> for two weeks. I'm yeah. so excited. It's a lot right now, and the the year. I don't know. With the whole pandemic and everything's happening, it feels the year feels long already than it mm. is. Weirdly, even though it went pretty fast, it feels like it's been 16 months. Yeah. Of 2020, so I'm I'm. I'm not one of those people. Oh, in 2021, everything will be better. <laughs> I'm a, I'm not that optimistic. 
So, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't think you're pessimistic either. I no, think I'm that not. you're I'm, realistic. I I'm think realistic. I'm not. I, I let myself surprise, and I don't think it's going to be bad. That year hasn't been so awful either. But I'm not. I'm not like being real, like super unrealistic and trying to have everything mm. back to normal or you know yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. let's get into the topic. What what you chose the topic? What is it? It tell is. the people, Danielle. <laughs> they want to know. Tell them. I mean, they read it already. Oh yeah. They already know the topic. Tell the let's, topic. What if we changed the topic right now? That would be funny. <laughs> so the topic is anus <laughs> and the relationship with your anus. <laughs> Let's talk anus. Let's not. Um, it's about re- like a relationship oh. bucket list. Oh. I think everybody knows what a bucket list is. If you don't, um, essentially just like things it's a like list goals on a that you <laughs> yes, goals that you want to achieve. Right. I think everyone in knows your what lifetime. a bucket list is. Yeah, but some people don't. Okay. Yeah, it's your in German. It would be like a an a Zielliste or a list of für Dinge, die ich erreichen möchte in mm-hmm. meinem Leben oder tun möchte in meinem Leben eigentlich yeah. nicht erreichen. So, yeah. Um, so, we thought we'd do a relationship bucket list where it's things that we want for our relationship, like goals we have as a couple yeah. to... But we decided to do it separately where he has some goals and I have other goals and we are going to talk about them now for the I, first time. I want to quickly say something because I think there, there there's a, an important distinction because um, like a bucket list doesn't have to be like a long-term goal or like a goal that you set yourself mm-hmm. it does not have to be that. It can be that, but it does not have to be that. Because like, for example, kids planning, for example, it can be a bucket list item, but necess- it doesn't necessarily has to be one. And I think there's also a distinct between, okay, we're planning to like build in the next year, for example, like build a house or buy an apartment, for example. That also doesn't necessarily mean... A, has to be a bucket list item. It can be, but it doesn't have to you, be. But you can say that about anything, so I don't really get to your point here. I don't know. I think literally anything you put on your bucket list could be a bucket list no, item. No, I, I think I think in terms of goals, for example, I can set myself a goal where that where I want to be at a certain point in my life, for example. Yeah, but bucket list items also don't necessarily have to be things that you ever achieve. It can just no, be no, no, things no, exactly. I, I want these things for our future. No, exactly, exactly, exactly. These are things I'd like for us to do together or things exactly. that I want to achieve with you, but it can also be things it's that just, you know you're going to do together. Right, but you, right. Yeah. And I think with our list, I mean, at least with mine, I tried to be very specific in things that I thought would be fun and adventurous and yeah, different we, and we stuff like that. We can just go into it, though. We so, don't have to yeah, explain it. Yeah. Let, let's, you start with your first item. I mean, <laughs> my first item you already said is in a bucket list item, but I, my first item is children. I have the two. I want, I want, um, we've talked about this together, but I personally want three children. Two. And you say two, but I've always said as like a compromise, what if we have Ten two dogs. of our own, no, oh. two of our own children and adopt Ten a dogs. third. I am being serious now. <laughs> Danielle, I am serious too. I would totally say 10 dogs instead of a child. No, not 10, five dogs instead of a child. Yeah, I wouldn't say something instead of a child. Why not? Because I want children. You yeah, know, we get, we get, we have two children and then five dogs. Two children and five dogs? Yeah. That's fabulous. No, but I really want to adopt a, a third child I mean, at some point. If it, if the the yeah sure, if the financial means and everything mm-hmm. is in place and it, if we can provide the kid with right. like a good life, sure, why not? Um, my first, <laughs> my first item is a double date with Andy and Adela, or <laughs> or because he's getting a new apartment or like cooking together. Well, that'd be fun. Yeah, I thought so too. Like like. I don't know, we buy the ingredients or they buy the ingredients and cook for us or we cook together or we cook for them, something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. What is your next one? My next one is also one that you put down right away. But <laughs> What is it? Uh, building a house together, which we're not technically oh. building a house together, but we have plans to to build build on our, on our existing house. So we're... I have the two. We're like expanding and, and renovating see and it's fun stuff. i feel like you read my list and copied all the items in a different order 
I didn't. I didn't even know where okay. your list was. Okay. No good. Minute. And also, those first two things are obvious things that I would say. Is the list because mine is not in a specific order in terms of that? Mine's not okay, either. Good. It's just the things that came to my head okay. as they came. The to next me. one for me is travel to New Zealand together. Ooh, that's a good one. To visit the hobbits. That's a good one. I also want to get a tattoo by a tattoo artist in New Zealand. Mm -hmm, I know. That's a good one. Corny Cornish. Okay, my next one mm -hmm. is, and it's legit written like this. Dogs, dogs, rats, and more dogs. Okay. But it so also says eventually rescue an old dog. I want to at some point rescue a dog who's like in a shelter who's been there forever, you know, and doesn't get adopted because it's so old. But, you know. And I want to I want to give a dog. You don't want to get attached last... to something like that and then it dies and then you're miserable. Yeah, but how about that dog's life? Fuck it's miserable life. and it's living in this rescue place no, I know. with That's no sweet. family and That's you, sweet. you want to give it like the best last years That's of its sweet. life. My next one is take a dance course. Oh, I have that one too. See, you copied mine. <laughs> well, gone, how long have I been asking you? To take Pre a dance class with me, and you're like, no, that's stupid. People, you couldn't have, you didn't see that, but she nodded when I asked her again. She just nodded and, and admitted to copying my I list. I didn't, I didn't. Know she where did her again. List was. No, my God, I wish there were. No, but camera. I've I've been suggesting every time I I'm surprised you have that on your list because every time I've brought up taking a dance class, like I really want to take a swing dance class with you, or I want to take a salsa class with you. Those are my two favorites. You're I like, want to. Uh -huh. I want to take a freestyle dance course. That'd be fun. We'd both be the whitest people in there, just zero coordination. I mean, if it's just white people in there, then... <laughs> we would be the whitest. Yep. Um, what's my next one? My next one is a road trip in the U.S. with an RV or camping along the way. Oh, I have camping too. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. Um, I always wanted to... to do like a road trip in the U.S. and is there anywhere specific? Go down you... hillbilly land. <laughs> is there anywhere specific that you'd want to go? Wow. <laughs> I don't know if that was. We'll cut like, that anyways. Here, he audible? audible. Um, specific. Um, I don't know. I mean, I want to go to like Arizona would be fun. Mm -hmm. California, like L.A. I like to see. You don't camp in L.A. No, I know, but like <laughs> two three days there. Um. Then I want to go, I mean, up the West Coast would be fun again, but mm -hmm. also through like, uh, um, what is the one state I really like? It's still red, unfortunately. Montana? Montana, yeah. I would love to go Montana through Montana. Utah, I want to go through Utah. Utah is also beautiful. Yeah, like there. I mean, Minnesota too, just to hear the accent. Minnesota. You don't need to go there to hear the accent. I can do the accent. Yeah, my next one is climb a big mountain. And, yes. And big is in quotes. No, it's not, but it can be. What is big, you know? It's I the, have, I have the that too on the oldest mine. question in mankind. What is big? <laughs> do you have a, a mountain in mind? No. Oh, I do. Nah, I don't because I, I don't know. I just like mountain climbing and I would like to climb one that I haven't climbed. Cl climbing? Climbed? Climbing. Cl that I haven't climbed yet. See, that, that's perfect because my next one is travel, just in general, because I want to travel a lot with you. But specifically, I wrote down Thailand, Botswana, Costa Rica, India, and Mount Kilimanjaro I would love to climb. I've been, I that's it been a, one. Oh, it's been a dream of mine since I was like 17. I'll probably just stay down and watch you climb it. You wouldn't climb Kilimanjaro? I don't know if I want to climb that one. Why not? Because it's it's a pretty a pretty big climb. It is, but you have a guide with you. You do it in multiple days. It's not like... I know, but that's... I don't know if I, I'm up for a thing like that. I think you would love it. No. Nope. We'll talk to Matt. Matt climbed it and he'll I know. convince you. Um, my next one is stay up all night, eat, talk, or watch the Oscars. I mean, we do that sometimes with the Oscars at least. Yeah. But, but wait, if we stay up all night, it's eat or talk? It doesn't matter. It can be both... <laughs> So we don't, if we eat, we don't talk. And if we talk, we don't eat. Can we both at the same time? Do you time? remember that or night? interchangeable. Do you remember the night no. that we had in Prague? No. We were in Prague and we were at that really nice hotel and we literally just stayed up so late just talking. And it was like one of the, my favorite memories, at least of I remember of we were dating. that time because I was super miserable and, and really sick for two weeks. Oh. <laughs> but I remember that hotel and the breakfast. That's nice that you remember, but the sweet thing I say you don't. No, I do remember it. <laughs> 
But I also remember how miserable I was the whole time. That was not fun. That was really not fun. Um, your turn. No, I already did one. No. Oh, yeah. yeah I feel like you're just... <laughs> what? No, I say like a sweet memory and then you shit on it. I'm not. I'm not shitting on it. You didn't How? even say that you remember it. You said, I, do. I remember being miserable. Danielle, I do remember. <laughs> I, I said I do remember it. But I also remember yeah. being fucking miserable because I was. It's nice, but you don't have to say that. I still dragged my body around the town and then drove to Innsbruck and everywhere. Um, I would want to get two family members to become vegan with us. Oh, yeah. That would be fun. At least two. I mean, it doesn't matter which family members, but two family members who are currently kind of like on the like not really for it or my like dear old mother, my dear old mother is vegetarian, so she might fall at some point. I don't know, maybe. Even she didn't get it when we the were vegan. Though once she's at a certain age, I will just give her vegan food and I won't tell her. <laughs> and she's like, oh, "There is this cheese," and I say, "Yes, mother, but it doesn't taste like it's cheese. Eat it." Maybe, maybe that by that point the cheese in Austria will be better, like the I vegan mean, it's cheese. Already some. It's vegan getting cheese, there it's getting here, there. but it's not like the stuff in the U.S. So my next one is uh, taking a trip with parents from both sides. Ooh, that would be really fun. That's a great idea. But I would like sort. I don't know if I want to bring my dad necessarily. <laughs> So parent from no, just, both sides. Just a good nah. I, that would be fun. Like my That would be fun. My dad and her her his uh wife, wife and my mom and maybe her then boyfriend she keeps talking about since twelve years. Be nice. Uh, I mean she <laughs> does. That's that's a fact, Danielle. I know. Uh and then maybe your mom with Matt. Maybe. Yeah. If she wants to. Be sure. And, and my dad. your dad with his maybe girlfriend at some point. Yeah. That would be so fun. That would be fun. Like go to, I don't know. I don't know where. That would be really fun though. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, my next one is do something impactful for the environment. Either like, so like volunteer somewhere to clean the oceans or plant trees or, you know, Ooh. things that we can do actively maybe with a group, like a volunteer group somewhere. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh. Ne- or that thing where you help the baby turtles get to the ocean. Oh, that's cool. Like you help guide them. I always wanted to do that. No, you pick them up and throw no, them. No, you're then- not allowed to touch them. Danielle. Unless oh, they absolutely need I've help. I've seen it. You pick them up and, sh- <laughs> and throw them into the ocean. I've always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to help the turtles. Then the my ocean. next one is raise children, but you got that already. Um, but the next one is camp somewhere wild. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which we also kind of talked about. Yeah. I have never really camped on a wild. Yeah. I mean, you've never camped. <laughs> hey, I camped, Daniel. Hey, I have camping experience. Did you sleep in a tent? Yes. On the ground? Yes. With a sleeping bag and nothing yes. underneath it? Yes. Yes. Multiple times. Okay. Then you've camped. Yeah. But where? Not in your backyard? I did that. I've did that in my backyard, but I did it multiple times at, at the Novok Festival, music festival. Multiple times. Okay. And that was the That's, worst camping experience. Yeah, but at festivals, I also don't Drunk really... people falling on yeah, you in the middle of the night. Yeah, but that's not camping. Peeing I in your tent. Yeah, but I wouldn't consider that camping. It is camping. Camping is getting a tent, making your own fire, cooking your food over that's what the we fire. Did. That's what we did. Not at a festival setting, in the woods where you're not surrounded by people, where it's just you and yeah, your tent. sure. And but it's still camping. camping. It's still camping. Yeah. But I think that's why you say you don't like camping because that's no, the experience the thing is, you've I had do with camping. Like camping, I'm not a huge fan of sleeping on the floor. <laughs> that's that's the only thing. That's so if there's like a, a some some mat or something that makes it yeah, more I mean, pleasant, yeah, I mean, you're sure they make mats like camping mats specifically for that. Or like like an elevated thing, like a, a leaf, cot, a cot or something, mm-hmm. or or sure, yeah. that, that would still count. Um, what is my next one? Um, I want to save animals together from like factories, like chickens or or yeah, but where cows. do you want to put them? I, I mean, there are rescues in places, but I want to be a part of that. Uh, so you want to be part of an, like an organization who does that? Yeah. Okay. Mm, my next one is fuck somewhere outside. <laughs> Romantic. 
I could have written make love somewhere outside, but that sounds too corny. It does. I like the way you wrote it. And where outside? In the backyard. <laughs> so adventurous. <laughs> and wave the neighbors while you do it. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking right now. No, I don't want food. No, no, I'm good. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, we come over later. Thank you. I'm actually surprised that you wrote that down just from things that I know about you. I'm surprised that you wrote that. Yeah. Because not, that's something I want to do too, but not in I think I'm more of the adventurous person in mm. that sense. It's not true. It's not not true. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not true. I could say something to make it true, but that might be too personal. <laughs> okay, it's too personal. <laughs> okay. Um, I want us to spend time in America every year and sometimes maybe for like a whole summer with my oh, family. We talked cool. about that. That sounds cool. But just like a whole summer with them, whether that means that we only stay like in mm. the Wisconsin area with family or with family, we travel somewhere mm. else and we go somewhere. We but... could combine that with the road trip mm -hmm. and my parents coming yeah. there too. It's so cool. Um, I My next one is a tech-free day. I like that. We could maybe do that like around Christmas time. I would love that. Other than that, I have finally time to play games. <laughs> it's one day. Ooh, I <laughs> look know. at this. He writes the goal down and then he makes excuses for it. Then they, they can't look at anything. Wolfgang. What you can't tell them to look at this. What? You just said look at this. They can't look, Danielle. It's also a turn of phrase. It's just something you say, like, hey, check that out. It's not, it's not. But come on, it's one day. If no, you maybe. Have like hey, that's why weeks, I wrote it down. I can do it. Three weeks Danielle, off, I can do it. You Danielle, have one day that Danielle, you don't do I can that. do it. That's what would we do on that day? Down. Would we? Because no that idea. would also include probably no movies. No, no, nothing. No fridge. No cooking on a stove. Nothing. It's all technology. No phone. No fridge. No, no, no car. No. The fridge isn't yeah, sure, technology. You should consider that technology. No, we, we lock everything up. Everything that it's powered by, by, by power, we lock it up <laughs> and we don't use it today. Okay. Yeah. So, so what we, would we do? I don't know. I have no Puzzles? Idea. Games? Nah. That's also powered by electricity. Anyway. <laughs> Puzzles? Okay, come on. Keep moving. Okay. Um... My next one is go backpacking somewhere for a few weeks. What? Is, oh yeah, that, I want to do that. I want to actually do the the trail your dad did. Yeah, me too. It's what I was thinking of. But I want to do that. it alone, or I want to do it in a day advance or in a day behind you. The whole thing is relationship goals, like that we do as a couple. No, but that trail specifically, I want to do alone, or maybe with Andy. That's nice. <laughs> No, but I really love the idea of backpacking. I really want to do that. And there are mm -hmm. really cool trails in Austria, for example, that you can like do for a couple of days mm -hmm. where you stay at like little hostels or something. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to Where do they that. stab you multiple times during the night. <laughs> awesome. Do you want free stabbings or two? Uh, I think I'll take two this night. <laughs> okay, <your> turn. <laughs> the next one is take a cooking or baking class. Ooh, fun. Alone. <laughs> But I want to take the class. I want us to take the same class, but at different times. Yeah. No, I want I want you to take the baking uh -huh. class. And when you come home from the class, I, teach I can you. eat. No, oh, I can eat. Okay. <laughs> no, but I really, I kind of want to do that. But not, I don't want to necessarily do like a, I don't know, month long, like a week, but just like two or three, or like a weekend, for example. A like, weekend thing, yeah. Like two or three days where you just learn how to make some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you might find this one silly, but I kind of like it. I uh, I wrote down a meditation retreat. Eh. It doesn't have to be specifically meditation, but along those lines where it's like I mean, meditation, I would do more yoga, yoga stuff. Where I would where do yoga, both. but meditation. It's just all know. about like a relaxation retreat and yeah, like connecting with yourself and with each other, but designed for couples. That sounds what fun. I mean. That sounds fun. So you do things together to strengthen your inner selves, but also as like a couple, you strengthen. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty strong connection. already inside, so I don't really <laughs> need that. Everything I write down, you have some joke about. It's so it's not, yeah, if you can't joke about my things, that's not my problem. So my next one is skinny dipping. <laughs> that's stupid. <laughs> it's actually not. It's, it's pretty not. cool. It is cool. Have you never gone skinny dipping? I actually don't know. No, I did. <laughs> I did. I did. When did you go skinny dipping? As a dipping? kid, probably at some point. <laughs> okay, it's not really skinny dipping then. If you're a kid, every kid goes swimming naked at some point. Yeah, no, I think I did. I did go swimming. I think I did at some point in the ocean, but I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, I want to do that. 
And like just the two of us or skinny dipping with like no with Andy. <laughs> nah, just I, I don't care. I mean, I prefer just the two of us. I don't like to show my willy. <laughs> The, my my thing to add to that would be like that we have relations then, but you wouldn't like that. It depends in the water. I don't like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But you wouldn't. You know, like they're that. fish, <laughs> and they see my warm, and they like. <gasps> food. Yeah, but if you're skinny dipping in the, they don't see your warm if we're doing it because your warm is somewhere else. <laughs> but you know, all the dirty water and shit goes inside parts. Yeah. You don't want that. That's true. And then maybe there's dirt in the water and shit. No, you don't want that. <laughs> that's true. All the germs. But we could connect it with your wanting to do that outside. If there is no sand beach, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's what towels are for. You still get the sand everywhere, Danielle. Yeah. You don't want sand in your do vagina. You, you don't want it in your vagina. Let me tell you. You don't want it in your vagina. Let me tell you. Like, yeah. you have experience. Danielle, I have so much sand in my vagina in my <laughs> lifetime. I can't write a book about yeah, it. Yeah, but it, I wouldn't My want time it. with sand in my vagina by I Wolfgang wouldn't Kian. want it do it with on stone beaches either you know like a grass pasture or something (laughs) next to cows (laughs) and the cows are just watching like i "Mm." want them to watch (laughs) i'm going to line them up so they need to watch they can turn Mm -hmm. around Mm -hmm. okay my, my next one um continue to stay silly and always make each other laugh no Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty. I mean, I'm so fucking funny, so that's a given. <laughs> no, but I think we're really silly with each other, and that's something that I I love that we still have after being together for four years. Even though, you, and I think that's special. That's even not though you that tell me has. multiple times that I should behave like my age appropriate, and when then you, then you say have, he's thirty, he should not act like that. I've legit not said that one time. That's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but don't you think that's special? I think it's special that, that it's been four years and we're still both like so silly with each other and we make each other laugh still. And, like Danielle, we have fun together. I know. I told you I'm procrastinating backwards. I grew up as an old person. I'm getting younger and younger and more stupid. <laughs> um, the next one is go uh, cycling in the Netherlands because we didn't do that last time and I always wanted to do that that's true. because it's just straight. And I can do that with my hand. Mm-hmm. And I want to like go past those little, what are they called? Windmills, you know? Water mills? No, windmills. The actual windmills, not yeah. the water ones. No, they have windmills there a lot. And I want to go past them and they have sometimes little cafes or like little mm-hmm. bistros there. And yeah, that's what I want to do. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm. Um, this is my last one. Yeah, I have one more too. Perfect. I actually have two more, but the one we already said. Okay. okay. Um. This one kind of goes to my last one, but it's find new ways to fall in love with each other. It's like always, always like keep that that spark alive, even if it means we have to like work for it a little more sometimes or we have to try something new together to make that happen. That's funny. I have find new ways to fall in love with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that idea. But I think we are doing that. We're trying to do stuff that makes love and stuff and life more interesting and keeps it fresh yeah but i think lately not so much <laughs> i mean but it's on both of us because it's i mean it's pandemic and i it's think also it's just hard like right it's, now. it's hard right now you, but that's also not an excuse i feel like there are ways to to do those things that we're just not like really trying but that's both of us neither of us are really putting in the effort for I think that it's fine right now i mean with no, all the shit fine. that's going down so I think no, i'm fine. not saying it's not i'm just saying there's my my last my basically right last one is uh, go like running in a race together, mm-hmm. run like in a race, but in like a fun race, not in a serious race. So, what kind of race is that? Like this, there's, there's one race here in Gali, for example. We have one, the Seven Bridge Race, it's called, and you dress up as like a silly character or something, and then you run, and it's kind of fun, or like a small race somewhere, where it's not like super long or super far or something and i feel just... like that's only fun if you enjoy running no you don't enjoy <laughs> you wouldn't enjoy it together like with the dressing up and running it depends it's not if you if you actually ran with me oh <laughs> <laughs> because this is what happens when we go running together i actually i don't hate running i i don't 
I can't say that I love you know, running. That's why I, that's why I wrote down together. Yeah, but and, that's not, and they didn't say compete together. No, I said you, run together. Yeah, but when you say run together, like do you want to go for a run or something? You're like so far ahead of me the whole time where I might as well go by myself, which is fine because you should run at your pace. And it's I run fine, but I still bring it up no, no, all no. the time. No, I'm just saying your definition of running together is different than my definition of running together. That's true. So I would, is, I like that idea, but only if we actually run together. As long as you can see me, we technically run together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the last one. Yeah. Do you have a favorite one on your list? Like, do you have one on your list that's like something that, that you feel like you, we have to do? Or like, you know, not have to, but would be top of your list on your list? Um... I don't know, actually. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. No. I mean, besides like children and building a house and dogs and I stuff. I really don't like those. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I don't know if the, the, I mean, all of them are thought through and I think they're fun. I don't know. I don't have like a specific one that is my favorite. Do you really? have one? No. I have two that are kind of tied, honestly. Um, the one is taking a dance class together. I thought you said taking a dump together. Taking a dump together is really important for me <laughs> that we finally get to a place where we're comfortable shitting in front of each other. <laughs> we need like two toilets <laughs> facing each other. <laughs> so that's definitely one. No, taking taking a dance class together is one. But yeah, the but one it's that's, mine. Yeah, I know. I like it. Oh. But the one that's... Com- but I also said that. No. Oh, I skipped one. Learn a new skill together. Dancing. Dancing, sign language, Spanish, oh, okay. you know, something like that we can do I together. know Spanish. C. Si. <laughs> Good job. Um, but, Espacito. But that's one, is taking a dance class together. But the the one that's like right up there with it is the one that you said with where we take a trip with our parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I really I like, like that, that one idea. too. Yeah, me too. But we, special. the thing is we need to do that soon because they're getting old. You know, I don't want to <laughs> like four people in a wheelchair. You don't want that. A wheelchair? They're not that old. Danielle, let's face it, they're old. They're not. <laughs> you can call your parents old, but my parents no, are young, young and vibrant and, and lively. So. That's true. No, they are. They are. <laughs> but I think that's it. That's it. And also, how fun would it be on a trip with your dad speaking English oh, man. to my parents? That would be so funny. <laughs> the funniest thing, if we would go to America with him, oh I would God. just let him order everything and talk, let him talk the yeah. whole time. But if we, if he, they came to the U.S., we would have to do like a Harley. I mean, in Milwaukee, there's the Harley Museum. We'd yeah. have to do that with them. But we'd have to do something like motorcycle related or like Route 66 or something. Like yeah, that. that's true. No, that's true. Okay, that's it. That's it. Thank you, everyone, for listening. And please share. Please, please share. We really appreciate it. And that's the only thing that really helps us. Um, And if you want to check us out on Instagram or our website, translatinglovepodcast.com. And or send us a message. Or Instagram at translatinglovepodcast. Or send us a message on anchor.fm slash translating dash love. Indeed. Yes. That's it. That's it. Thank you. Goodbye. Hey, hey, goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, see us. <laughs>